In this problem, we are asked to calculate the shaded portion of the figure shown using 3.14 for pi. To find the solution to this problem, what we are going to have to do is figure out what the area is of the larger circle and find out what the area is of the smaller circle in the middle and then subtract those two areas together. And what we have remaining is the area of the shaded portion on the outside. It's kind of like saying the larger circle on the outside was completely shaded gray, including the one in the middle, and then someone came along and deleted a circle from the center of that circle in the size of the white circle shown. And if they deleted or erased an area the size of the white circle, what you would have left is the area that is shaded in gray, and that is why we subtract the area of the smaller circle from the area of the larger circle. So first we are going to find the area of the larger circle, and we are going to start by writing 3.14, and then we have to multiply that by the radius to the second power, or the radius times the radius. The radius of the larger circle is line segment AC, but they do not give you what the measurement of line AC is. However, they do give you the measurement of line segment AB and line segment BC, and if you add them together, that would be the entire distance from point A to point C. 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3.0, or just 3. Now that we know the radius of the larger circle, we can proceed to find the area of that circle. 3.14 times 3 times 3 can be simplified to 3.14 times 9. 9 times 3.14 is 28 and 26 hundredths. Now that we know the area of the larger circle, we have to find the area of the smaller circle located in the center. The radius of the smaller circle is already given. The radius of that circle is 1 and 5 tenths inches. Because that is the radius, we have to square it or multiply it by itself. 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25. After multiplying 3.14 times 2.25, we come up with an area of 7 and 65 thousandths square inches. That is the area of the smaller circle. Now we must subtract 7.065 from 28.26. When subtracting decimals, make sure the decimal is lined up and places zero in any blank spots. After subtracting the two areas together, we have a difference of 21 and 195 thousandths. That would be the area of the section that is shaded in gray.